La Tomatina is a festival in Buñol, Spain, in which participants have a food fight with tomatoes. Buñol is only home to around 9,000 people, but each August, thousands gather to throw approximately 120 tons of tomatoes. According to the official La Tomatina website, the festival began in 1945, during the Parade of Giants and Big Heads. During this event, some young people became bored and decided to join in with the parade. This caused one participant's big head to fall off, which sent them into a rage. They began hitting everything in their path, triggering the crowd around them to start throwing fruits and vegetables from the nearby market stalls. The produce battle raged on until the local forces put a stop to it. The following year, some young people planned to reenact the fight, this time bringing their own tomatoes from home. Although the local forces broke it up again, this was the beginning of the yearly tradition. La Tomatina was banned in the early 50s by Spanish dictator Francisco Franco due to the festival's lack of religious importance. However, this did not stop the festival goers, many of whom were arrested for their participation. Locals protested the prohibition and the festival was allowed to go ahead once more. That is until 1957, when it was again cancelled. This time, as a sign of protest, residents paraded through the city carrying a coffin with a huge tomato inside, accompanied by a band playing funeral marches. They then held a tomato burial. The protest was successful, and La Tomatina was finally permitted and became an official festival. In 2002, La Tomatina of Buñol was declared a festivity of international tourist interest by the Department of Tourism. Prior to 2013, upwards of 50,000 participants would gather each year. However, this number was cut down to 20,000 for safety reasons. The town also began charging participants a fee. Locals receive free tickets, but for the rest of the world, it's first in, first served. These fees go towards the cost of hosting the event, safety officials and security, standby emergency services, and of course, the tomatoes. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the event was cancelled in both 2020 and 2021. However, it is currently set to go ahead in 2022. The festival rules are as follows. Do not throw anything but tomatoes. Do not tear clothes. Squash tomatoes before throwing them to avoid hurting others. Only throw tomatoes to a target you can see. Do not throw tomatoes directly at buildings. Keep a safe distance from trucks. Follow the directions of security staff. Stop throwing tomatoes after the second shot sounds. And have fun. Festivities begin at 9am in the town's main square. Most dress in white, and many wear goggles to protect their eyes from being stung by the acidic tomato juices. At 9am, a competition called El Palo Jabon, or in English, the ham stick, begins. This is where a ham is attached to the top of a large greased pole. The aim is to scale the slippery pole and pull down the ham. While this is going on, locals spray hoses and pelt festival goers with buckets of water. Then, at 11am, a pistol is fired, signalling the start of the tomato fight. A procession of six trucks full of around 120 tonnes of tomatoes makes their way through the crowd, while designated tomato distributors start throwing and dumping tomatoes from the trucks. The food fight lasts for an hour, at which point a second pistol signals the end of festivities. Many make their way to the nearby Buñol River to wash off, while others borrow hoses from the locals. Meanwhile, locals begin the cleanup right away, with high-powered hoses from fire trucks along with rakes and brushes. The citric acid in the tomatoes acts like a chemical scrub for the town and leads to the washed surfaces becoming very clean. For the full La Tomatina experience, you can stay in Buñol for the week-long celebration of music, dancing, parades and fireworks. The night before the fight, a paella cooking competition is held. Then, after the fight, there's an after-party. The festival has received harsh criticism, as many believe that it is an extreme waste of food. However, residents state that not only are the tomatoes about to start rotting, but these particular tomatoes, bought extremely cheaply, are of such a low quality that they are more or less inedible. 